you very much. It's true. It means a lot to this community. So how many racers in the room were race with us last year? Let's get a show of hands. Who was here last year with us? Lots and lots. That's great to see. You know, obviously I had some feedback last year. Uh, some folks had a great day and thought it was a great event, and I agree with them. We also had some feedback that it was a bit crowded, and I take full responsibility for that. I'd like everyone to know that we, uh, we, we toned it down just a bit this year, and Abigail gave me a final number of registration, 690 today. So you're not sending two or three cars up anymore, one per racer. Okay, so we're hoping that we can make a huge difference and make it a great day for everyone tomorrow. And we'll see you back here at the awards ceremony at noon on Sunday. As you can tell, it's time for the grand finale. The founders of the Let Go Trail are on the road, Ken and Mary. Just one little item of housekeeping. We do have a table at the back by the open door to collect donations for the legacy. We always appreciate your donations. Try to use them in the way that you would want them used. We went to the Opera House last night and saw uh, a version of the 1995 Leadville Trail 100. It was awesome. And I look out there and I see so many people that were here then. So many familiar faces and members of our Leadville Trail 100 family. So to all of you, welcome home. If this is your first Leadville, I bet you thought you were signing up for a foot race. Well, Leadville is so much more than just a foot race as you'll find, as you're probably finding out now and will find out. It is, it'll be part of your heart forever. For us, we've been privileged to be a part of this race in your lives for the past 32 years. It's been amazing. Totally amazing. And I want to tell you, Ken and I know what it takes for you to get here. We know what it takes to finish. We know about all those long, lonely training runs. We know about the time that you spend away from your family, your friends, your jobs, your kids. We know about the injuries you've overcome to get here. And we know how expensive it is just to get here. But our legacy to each and every one of you is that you are a better person than you were when you started this odyssey. That's for sure. For me, my part of it, I still get to be a part of the finish line. It's been such a privilege to hang those medals, give and get all those sweat hugs, be a part of your joy and your victories. And I wish that for each and every one of you this weekend. So remember, dig deep. You were born for this. Well, wow, thank you very much. It's, it's absolute gospel or ain't going party. Everything is that. You are family. And it's just exactly the way I wanted to talk to you. My son Cole. Cole, stand up here. Cole's going to be running on you tomorrow. I want to talk to you the same way, exactly the same way I talk to him. He thinks he's going to break 25 hours tomorrow. If he gets to that finish line under 30, I care. Because I'm going to take full credit for that, because I'm going to say, I taught him that. <laughs> and that's 
what? I'm going to say, when you cross that finish line, I'm going to say, I taught him that. Tomorrow, you're going to face 100 miles. It starts at 10,200 feet. It goes up, then it goes way up, and then it goes straight up. But you know what? We're going to see you at that finish line because we know, we have proved over the years, you're better than you think you are. You can do more than you think you can. Now, I'm not just going to throw that out there and leave that with you to decide up by yourself. I'm going to tell you how to do that, how to get to that finish line, and then I'm going to tell you why. And please don't accuse this talk we gave you of being motivational. Motivational will last until you throw up. <laughs> First thing you throw up will be that motivation. <laughs> what I'm going to tell you, what I'm going to tell you is, is the truth. The truth we have learned over these 31 years of watching literally thousands of runners, ultra distance runners, thousands of ultra distance cyclists, and what they, what requires to get to that finish line. This is the truth. Again, you're better than you think you are. You can do more than you think you can. The how, the how of that is that within each and every one of you, there is an inexhaustible, inexhaustible well of grit, guts, and determination. Cruz family, it applies to you too. But I can prove it to the runners tomorrow. I can prove that within each and every one of you is an inexhaustible well of grit, guts, and determination. Grits is what you're made out of. The guts is the courage that it takes to dig deep and get that power that is within you. The determination is to use that and go on and go on. It is within you. The power is within you. We have seen it repeatedly over and over and over. The why? The why is a little more difficult. A little more difficult for you to digest, a little more difficult for you to deal with. You did not get here by yourself. You will not cross that finish line by yourself. A lot of people are depending on you. You sacrifice time for your job. You sacrifice time from your family, your husband, your wife, and you darn sure sacrifice time away from your kids. So whenever you reach that point that you have to reach down into that well of grit, guts, and determination, you have to have that courage to reach down and dig deep. You have to have that courage to go on. You remember, you remember your, your mama and your daddy want to be proud of you. Mary Lee and I will be proud of you. There's several hundred volunteers out there that are depending on you to go on. Abby will be at the finish line with the medal. Josh will be at the finish line with those silver buckles to give you. There is exactly no reason, no reason under this beautiful Leadville sky that anybody should quit. Is it going to hurt? Damn right. I will guarantee you it's going to hurt. But it will hurt for only 30 hours. <laughs> if you quit, if you quit, that hurt never goes away. Never goes away. Because if I find out you quit, you ain't never coming back. 
That's a, that's a fact. That's, that's the truth. That's what we learned. That the power is within you. If when you reach that point, and you'll re reach it over and over, that you have to dig deep within yourself to go to that next station, to that next aid station, that next aid station, and then to that finish line. That power is within you. And if you need that reason why, think of that family, think of your job, think of your friends, think of, think of everybody involved with this race. There's only one person out there we're concerned about. That's you. That's you. This race is about one person. That starting gun goes off. This race is about you. Do not let us down. Do not let your family down. And most importantly, do not let yourself down. This is a foot race. You are going to face things in your life a lot more critical to you than a foot race. But this is where you learn to dig deep, to go on, to not quit. And then when those things pop up in your life that are critical to you, that are important to you, that make a great deal of difference in your life, you will know that you have learned it here and let go of it. The power is within you to go on, and you will let nobody down, not even you. Will you commit to finish? Yes! Will you, Josh Corey, Josh, son, we love you, right here. Josh, I want you. They're going to have to make this commitment to you. Son, you're going to have to make it too. <laughs> and every one of you that are our sons and daughters and brothers and sisters, we're going to ask you to do the same thing. I commit, I won't quit.